Hey traders, my uh, morning uh, brief video. I haven't been doing them lately. I've been using somebody else's. Uh, so at any rate, uh, some things I'm looking at right here. Uh, we are in a hair's breadth of going back to the yearly open here on ESs. Uh, you know, just look how big of a violent move down we've had so far this year. Uh, just yesterday, we are in what seems to be a free fall area. Uh, we are currently breaking below critical support. Uh, my rectangles that I've got on here are support and resistance zones. And what I use is on the four hour time frame, uh, the SARS. Okay. And what I do, I try to draw at a three dot reversal or a three dot uh, high on my uh, rectangles. I didn't do it down here. I got to uh, expand that. But by doing three dots, that gives you 12 hours of time, time frame. And then you can see how significant the support and resistance areas are on these rectangles. Okay, I, I got to change this one down here. Uh, but, you know, like this one here is about three hours here. So th that's what I'd like to do with these rectangles, making them about 12 hours wide, 12 hours a time wide on the time frames. But currently we are breaking below my rectangle this uh, pre-market this morning. Okay, and I do think we're going to go lower still here early on this morning. So don't, I mean, I'm not going to say we're even into that. We're going to get a hard test of my Fibonacci retracement, you know, uh, my fibs. And uh, we're going to be probably coming down here to the 3,900, hard 3,900 on ESs uh, early on this morning. So I'm looking for that. That's a double bottom on this move up. Okay. That could be a logical support area. Okay. Uh, we are into our monthly CPR uh, high. Okay. So basically, we had a breakout pattern on the monthly time frame, and we'd be coming right back down into the top of that monthly CPR. Uh, now, definitely keep in mind, look how close we are right down here on this yellow right here. That puts us back flat for the year. Go, and this is uh, option expiration day, too. So that would put us right back flat for the year if we came down to the 3885 area, 3883 area. Okay, so so being quite mindful that big money might want to take us all the way down flat on the year to finish this op option expiration day out. So be very, very mindful of that scenario uh, in today's session. So uh, I think that is a distinct possibility here on ESs. Okay. Uh, NQs are some very, also in that same uh, scenario here. Let me zoom in here real quick for you. Okay. And uh, I forgot to put the fibs on there. So uh, these are the yearly fibs on the uh, over here on the uh, uh, NASDAQ uh, in cubes. I went off the day highs to the open, yearly open. Okay. And we're currently right below 38.2 at what should be, uh, you know, uh, this could be a support buy zone still. You see, we're, we got the three dot reversal right here. This can still be a support uh, buy zone. I don't know for sure. We're below this prior, you know, we're, we're below this right here. So I try to give it a little bit of room here. Uh, we are at the 200 day moving average on the four hour time frame. Okay. And uh, we are drifting lower, you know, so I, I don't know for sure. I think my first target is down here. I do think we're coming down still lower uh, early on in, in the session. So I do have this as being my first buy zone here around the 11,300. Okay. So that's another 50, 60 points lower from where we're currently at. Uh, I think that's my first target to the downside, which I think we're going to get that early this session. Okay. Then I do have another target down here around 11,240 if we can't bounce. Okay. And if we were to come back all the way down here, that's 11,124 area that is where we open the year on the NQs. Now you you got a lot further to go on the NQs and what you do on the ESs. But I'm really thinking the ESs there's a decent chance we might actually go flat on the year and that'll be a headline to close out today's session. So let's definitely keep that on in a, a scenario that we got going on here. Okay. Okay, Russell Okay, guys, uh, the Russell here, guys. Uh, so we're currently in a uh, the pivot area, potential pivot area here on the Russell. 
So that's not a, a support area. That's just where, you know, uh, that's where a lot of volume, you know, uh, you know, have, that's the crossing point between the bullish and the bearish. So now since we're coming back down, you know, you would think that we're going to come down here, uh, down here, the blue area down here, that is your primary. That's no, that's your monthly CPR high here on the uh, uh, the Russell. Also comes into the 200-day moving average on the four-hour. Okay, so this time, this down here would be uh, a possible buy zone. Okay, and then uh, we are still with above our 38.2, so we still got a break before that. So I'm actually looking for it coming down here and tag tagging the 38.2. Okay, on this fib, and it's also lining up with my weekly fibs uh, from last week. This low, this this is a really critical area down here around 1150 area. So that is my first main critical support here on the Russell. So that's why I'm thinking this one here is the one that's really suggesting to me that we're not going to really have any buyers coming in till at least the 11, uh, 1140 area here on, or the 1840 area here on the Russell. And it, that I, suggests to me the other indices will probably come down too because of that. Okay. Uh, ideally, this is our uh, our, main, our our first main support down here, though. Okay. And that that puts us down to eighteen twenty. Okay. So that's on the Russell. Okay. And uh, but uh, the main thing is, I, I think we're going to get a hard test at that thirty eight two. So that's my main takeaway here, you know, that, so let's just keep that on watch here. And let me go back to the ES real quick. I forgot to mention on the uh, FIBS. Uh, I said, I'm, yeah, I mentioned on, yeah, yeah. Okay, on the FIBS, see, we're breaking below on the on the yearly time frame. We're breaking below uh, the 23.6, okay? Uh, you know, so that's a 78.6 retracement if you flip it on uh, upside down, okay? So, you know, we are in price discovery to the downside. You know, that's why I'm leaning to the bearish side here, you know, because we're breaking below that, uh, you know, that 78.6 retracement. I know I got these drawn backwards, but that's exactly what we're doing here on our FIBS. Okay, and then EQ, let me double check that one real quick. Where is it at in relation to those FIBS? And then I'll, I'll call this quits on there. And we're right at that, uh, well, it's the 61.8 if you flip it for a retracement scenario. Uh, so we're right at that 61A, very critical area, you know, uh, but I'm thinking we're, this is our critical support and that kind of lines up with that 78.6 retracement. That's why I'm thinking we're gonna still fall coming down into a, this more significant support down here. So just food for thought, that's what I'm thinking here. Uh, some ideas on floating early on this morning. So uh, we'll see what happens. And, uh, you know, basically don't come in here buying buying the uh, the open here uh just give us some time here because i do think uh, the downside risk is really high here okay thanks a lot